Chemotherapy is poison. Fighting bad with bad is the price you pay in order to keep on living. It's kind of a shitty scenario. I remember giving each iteration of whatever chemo drug that I was getting through a six hour long treatment session a different name just to make the process a little bit better. One vial that I received every two weeks was called doxorubicin. It's coined the red devil. It's a big red vial that even talking about it now makes me feel nauseous. One of the names that I gave it was barbecue sauce. Prior to chemo, they'd give me this big vial thick of this orange liquid to combat nausea. I called that my OJ. So I had barbecue sauce and OJ that was getting injected into my body instead of chemo and super strong steroids. Talking about anti-nausea, after chemo, they gave me a ton of different prescriptions for anti-nausea medication. It's, it's funny because it's just more drugs to combat the effects of other drugs that you're receiving. More drugs to combat what was already being pumped into me. Boldly labeled on all of the prescription drugs were all the side effects that you may expect. Drowsiness, dizziness, headaches, tremors, fatigue, weakness. The list kept on going. So I was combating one symptom while enhancing or adding five to 10 other symptoms. Felt really backward. I remember distinctly dropping a bowl of salad that my girlfriend had made. Just cooking one element of it, chopping others, crafting a unique dressing. And I ruined it all, carrying it from one counter to another in this big bowl. My tremors, my clumsiness, my general weakness and fatigue. And that was the last day that I took any of the anti-nausea medication that they gave me. I started looking for alternatives. So from that day on, I stopped taking any of the prescribed anti-nausea medication that they were giving me, apart from the steroids that I had to take pre-chemo. I had it really bad. Other people have it far worse. At a half year of chemo, other people have a lifetime.